Global Site gives you many different options for translating files. You can either do it online using Inline Editor or Popout Editor. You can also download the files and translate them using your own desktop CAT tools. To start translating files, you must first accept the job that was assigned to you. Log into your account, click on My Activities, and then click Available. Here you should see all jobs that are available for you to accept. On the Activities page, you will see the task details such as word count and deadlines. Check the Comments tab to see if the project manager added any notes for the project. You can also click on the links to files in order to see the text that needs translation. Or under the source, click on the Click to View to download the file in its original format. Make sure to review all the details before accepting the task. Click on the Accept button if you would like to work on it. Click on the Reject button and enter a comment if you would like to return this task to the project manager. You will not be able to accept the task once you've rejected it. Files will become available for translation once you've accepted a task. Right-click on the file that needs to be translated and choose Pop-up Editor. The left side of the screen shows source language, and the right side shows translated strings. All 100% matches are locked for editing by default. Click on the Unlock link on the top menu if you're required to view them. Target segments in the editor are color-coded, based on the translation memory matches. See the Help link at the top for definitions of different colors. Click on the first segment that you want to translate in order to open the segment editor. At the top of the segment editor, you will see the source segment for translation. Terminology matches from the term base and translation memory matches are right below the target segment box. You can access different fuzzy matches by using the arrows next to the TM entry. Right-click on the memory match to copy it to the target field. Click Next Segment on the bottom of the page or hit the keyboard shortcut Control and Page Up to move to the next segment. There are many more keyboard shortcuts to help you speed up your work. Check the Help link on the top of the window to discover your options. Close the editor to return to the main project page once you are finished with the task. Click on the Translated Text button to confirm that you translated all available segments. There are segments that are missing translation if any of the files show below 100%. You may want to add comments for the project manager or the editor before completing a task. Click on New under Activity Comments and add your comment to do so. Submit your task once you're finished by clicking on Task Completed at the bottom of the page. Your task will disappear from your account once you've completed it. You will not be able to make any further changes.